the last video that I made, I used DF.io's built-in features to make like a new theme that's controlled by the mouse. Like you can adjust the colors of the background of the mouse. But then I found out you can actually do so much more with this with more than just the devs built-in controls for like the colors and all that in the background. So what I've done is I made this interesting trail effect. Like I practically made shaders for DF.io. And I'm probably going to call this the ghost shader because, I mean, just look at it. It kind of looks like a bunch of ghosts have, like, yeah, I think you get the point. But, yeah, I've made a DF.io shader. And while I don't have a script for it yet, I am going to make a script that you can just put into Tamper Monkey and it'll run whenever you go to DF.io and allow you to choose the shader. So, yeah, that's what I made, and, like, I know I said last video that I was going to upload one about this 4 million point score, like the, 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 the feeding event that I got invited to a while ago, and, yeah, I'm going to upload that soon, too. Though, like I said last video, I don't have much motivation. So I am definitely going to continue making DF.io shaders and like refine this one and actually make ones that are easy to play with because if you haven't, if you weren't able to tell yet, this game has been a lot harder than before because of the shader. I might even make ones that help people's gameplay by like showing the paths of bullets and things, though that's probably considered cheating, so probably not. So yeah, that's the shader that I made. Enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for watching.